Arjuna Vuvacha Arjuna Vuvacha Vishvedam Manusam Rupam Vishvade Manusam Rupam Tava Samyam Janardana Tava Sunya Janardana Hidani Masmi Samrutta Sachitaha Prakritim Gata Sachitaha Prakritim Gata Arjuna Vacha Arjuna Say Arjuna Say Drisvedam Seeing Idam This Manusam Human Rupam Form Tava Your Saumyam Very beautiful Janardana O chastiser of the enemies. Idanim. Now. Asmi. I am. Samrattaha. Settled. Sa. Sachetaha. In my consciousness. Prakritim. To my own nature. Gataha. Returned. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada Ki When Arjuna thus saw Krishna in His original form, He said, O Janardana, seeing this human-like form, so very beautiful, I am now composed in mind, composed in mind, and I am restored to my original nature. Purport. Here, the words Manusam Rupam clearly indicate the Supreme Personality of Godhead to be originally two-handed. <coughs> Those who deride Krishna as if he were an ordinary person are shown here to be ignorant of his divine nature. If Krishna is like an ordinary human being, then how is it possible for him to show the universal form and again to show the four-handed Narayana form. So it is very clearly stated in the Bhagavad Gita that one who thinks that Krishna is an ordinary person and one who and one and uh, who misguides the reader by claiming that it is the impersonal Brahman within Krishna speaking is doing the greatest injustice. Krishna has actually shown his universal form and his and his 400 Vishnu form. So how can he be ordinary human being? A pure devotee is not confused by misguiding commentaries on Bhagavad Gita because he knows what is what. The original verses of Bhagavad Gita are as clear as the sun. They do not require lamplight from Foolish commentators. O my Gyana Timirandasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshur, and Miritam Yena, the Smai Shri Guru Venamaha, Sri Chaitanya Manovisam, Sapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Kadamayam, Dadati Swapadantikam, Eham Shri Guru, Shri Utapatakamalam, Shri Guru and Vaishnavamsya. Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Rugunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitam Shcha E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastade Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye 
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासदी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वेलकम टू द भगवत गीता क्लास टूडेज वर्स इज फिफ्टी वन and uh, talking about krishna's beautiful form <laughs> krishna he himself uh, tells to arjuna there is no better form than this and arjuna confirms it to the world there is no better form than this and this two handed form which is blue dark just like a cloud and uh, very attractive And many years ago i was in a vh like 10 years ago i heard a story from uh, adibodi uh, from italy i think he said that um, you know there was a devotee on his death bed and he was about to die and he was totally unconscious he wasn't aware of his body and uh, you know i think he has cancer or something he was almost half dead uh but devotees observe that uh, before he left his before he leaves his body he just woke up he opened his eyes and then he said in italian language he said that bellissimo anybody italian here yeah. understand similar, similar. It, uh, i think it's south american yeah. bellissimo and then he left his body <laughs> and then uh, Later on, they found out what it means. The devotees were asking. I mean, the Indian devotees. He said, "So beautiful, extremely beautiful." And then he left his body. He, you know, it, it concluded that kind of Krishna gave him a glimpse, a little glimpse of his beauty, for his uh, passing devotee. You know, about his ba- passing devotee. And we also see in Srimad Bhagavatam. even in the first canto where parikshit maharaj observes krishna in his womb of his mother uthra uh, it is said that uh, angusta matra mamalam spurat puratamaulinam api vyadarshanam shyamam tadidvasam machutam it is said that angusta which means uh, thumb angutam which means in hindi we say in sanskrit angusta and matram just only Uh, thumb thumb sides amalam which is uh, pure and spurat purata maulinam which is just like a sun uh, you know his dress his dhoti was just like a sun blazing uh, lightning and uh, uh, very beautiful apivya darshanam apivya darshanam shyamam um shyamam means blackish dark achutam and sukadeva goswami says uh, that uh, he was only thumb size krishna but he was transcendental he had a very beautiful blackish infallible body and he wore a garment of lightning yellow and helmet blazing gold and thus he was seen by the very child he was only a child mere child it's in the womb must be how many maybe you know few months old he not even grown up but uh, he observes parikshit maharaj he could observe krishna in the womb that very beautiful form very attractive immediately captured his mind uh, that's why the ma its name became parikshit the moment he came out he just looking for him you know searching for him where is he let's say the very name parikshit means someone who searches someone who examines someone who is looking for uh, because it just distracted him from any kind of enca- uh, enjoyment that he can he can't enjoy in the material life once you got attracted you're finished uh, you you have to just uh, keep on thinking about that only and uh, further it says that shukshamah sukha vadana samrodha parikarshita dadruste gana shyamam pita kauseya vasam sukadeva goswami said uh, further that when jarasandhu actually um he arrested 20800 kings and he imprisoned every imprisoned everybody and thrown into the prison 
um, but you know when when Krishna went to save all of those people, and uh, and they, they all were immense, you know very hungry, they, they were dried up, and they were greatly weakened by due to the long imprisonment, and he was harassing them, Jana, uh, Jarasandha. When Krishna went to uh, save those all those kings, the king observed the beautiful form of Krishna. Uh, beholding you know the dark blue like the color of the cloud wearing the same yellow garment dhoti and uh, he has a Sri Vatsa mark in his chest and he's, he was in forearms I mean he was in Dwarka and uh, pinkish hue of his eyes which resembled the wall of lotus uh, and his lovely cheerful face his uh, um, gleaming makara earrings uh, like a shark you know, Krishna wears a shark earring <laughs> very beautiful looking shark earrings and a lotus club conch shell etc and uh, his neck he wore both the brilliant precious kostuba jam and a garland of forest flowers Krishna always wears a forest flowers made of five varieties uh, vanamali he's also called as vanamali because he always uh, likes the wana flowers. Yeah, it's very strongly uh, order, you know, great aroma. Five different varieties. And the kings, when they look at Krishna, all these 20,800 kings, and they were all males. When they look at Krishna, and they were totally satisfied. They were so tired and uh, being harassed by Jarasandhu. And you know, they were not even eating properly, sleeping properly. Uh, etc. But once they saw Krishna's beauty and they just want to drink the beauty in their eyes and lick him with their tongues relish his fragrance with nozzles and embrace him with arms their past sins now eradicated the kings all bow down to Krishna Hari placing their head at his feet and uh, this is what uh, Sukhdev Goswami gives a description of uh, kings of uh, Dwaraka. Uh, they immediately become satisfied by, by seeing Krishna. They, they, they come to conclusion, we don't need anything. We are happy with Krishna as Darshan and we would just like to be in his association. We are 100% uh, satisfied. And uh, further in uh, Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu, oh sorry, Brahma Samhita, it says that Alola Chandra Lasad Balamalya Bamsi Ratnangadam Pranaya Keli Kala Vilasam Shamam Trivanga Rupam Tribanga Lalitam Niyata Prakasham Govinda Madhi Purusham Damaham Bajami. Brahma glorifies the beautiful form of Krishna. Uh, Brahma sees with his uh, eight eyes, all his forehead, uh, with a great uh, ab absorption, and he totally imbibes the form of Krishna. And uh, in great meditation, he writes it. Mm? He writes that I worship the Govinda, primeval Lord, mm? whose neck is swinging of garland of flowers, beautiful with moon locket. Krishna has a moon locket. <laughs> whose two hands are adorned with the flute and jeweled ornaments, who always revels in pastimes. Means Krishna always having party. He likes having party with his devotees. Uh, loving parties whose graceful threefold building form is eternally manifest. Brahma prays to Krishna, may this beautiful form of Krishna may eternally manifest in me. Shyamam hiranya paridam vanamalya parha dhatu pravalanata vesam manuvartam sam Vinyastahastam itare nadhunanam abhajam karnot palaka karpola mukham bhajasam. This is from Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th um, canto, Sukhadeva Goswami glorifies again. Wearing a peacock feather, colored minerals, spring of flower birds, and a garland of forest flowers and leaves, Krishna was dressed just like a dramatic dancer. His complexion was dark blue hue and his garment was golden he rested one hand upon the shoulder of a friend which is Balaram and with the other twelve a lotus lilies grazed his ears 
his hair hung down over his cheeks and his lotus like face was smiling this is a wonderful description of lord krishna with his friend he is having a lotus flower his he has a curly hairs all the way come down his to his cheeks and he has a moon locket <laughs> and lord chaitanya uh, spoke to sanatana goswami in uh, chaitanya charitamrita he spoke uh, he relished uh, lord krishna's uh, um, beauty he said yasyana makarakundala charukarna brijat kapola subagam savilasaha sam niyotsvam na tarpur drishbi pibantyo naryo narascha mudihi kupita nimescha when uh, with sanatana goswami lachaitana was discussing and he was relishing the beauty of krishna krishna's face is decorated with ornaments such as earrings resembling sharks his ears are beautiful his cheeks brilliant and he is smiling attractive to everyone whoever sees lord krishna sees a festival his face and body are fully satisfying for everyone to see but the devotees are angry at the creator for the disturbance caused by the momentary blinking of their eyes uh, when lord chaitanya heard this shloka and he started relishing uh, the gopis uh, cursed the brahma uh, what kind of a creator are you uh, we can't relish krishna's form that he keeps on blinking uh, this is the uh, intensity of a devotee when he gets attracted towards krishna's form and um, he says that this is a mahotsava mahotsava means festival when you see krishna's form this is a festivity your life has become perfect and uh, it's relishable you know the way he dresses the way he decorates himself the way he wears garlands and the way he wears uh, pagdi and he puts a uh, flower you know flower flowers on it and uh, it's like a <laughs> you know and uh, the way he wears a dhoti and he puts a sash on it and uh, it, it's a uh, it's uh, like a um, always attracted to everybody and we see so many shlokas which describes who who uh, who krishna attracts and further we go it's a very nice description it says in hari bhakti suhoday a devotee says tvachakshat karanah da vishuddha abdi sthitas cha me sukhani gospad yante brahmani api jagat guru oh my lord oh supreme simply by understanding you or seeing you we derive a great pleasure so great that the pleasure of brahmananda becomes insignificant in other words <laughs> the pleasure derived by understanding krishna as he is as a all attractive reservoir of all pleasure and a reservoir of all pleasure giving taste with all transcendent qualification attracts one to become his devotees by virtue of such attraction one can give up fruity activities and all endeavors for liberation and can even abandon the intense desire to achieve mystic power through success in yoga the attractive power of krishna is so intense that one loses respect for all other means of self realization and simply surrenders unto the um, supreme personality of god now we see even in this duru maharaj case when he uh, see krishna's form or vishnu's form immediately his mind changed uh, immediately he becomes totally quenched he starts to become um, uh, to gain the planet bigger than uh, his father to kingdom bigger than his father uh, everything got vanished in one second when krishna came in front of uh, dhruva maharaj he immediately becomes fully satisfied uh, and uh, he even glorifies oh my dear lord i have uh, as do for some broken piece of glasses uh, now i got something valuable your own darshan just by looking at this i don't have any other desire to see in this material world i'm completely satisfied you know i don't want any kingdom i don't want to be a king or anything uh, in the, uh, this loka proves that even further it says a devotee even relishing brahmananda gaining so much pleasure even he gives up that 
and not only that any other form of self realization even if he is attracted to any other forms of krishna also he will give it up um, the krishna's form is so attractive that even he attracts everybody all even even all other forms of krishna the krishna attracts expansions of krishna in uh, bhakti rasamrita sindhu uh, Srila Rupa Goswami says about the beauty of Krishna. Uh, Krishna is beautiful at different ages. When he was a baby, when he was a child, and when he was a grown up young boy. He says that, uh, namely his childhood, boyhood and youth. Out of these three, his youth is the reservoir of all pleasure. Of course, Krishna's baby form, very attractive. And his uh, boyhood very attractive and uh, his youth is supremely attractive <laughs> um, every form has attraction but Rupa Goswami says but his youthful form when he turns 16 you know uh, full-fledged beauty of Krishna his youth is a reservoir of all pleasures because in that time uh, he can reciprocate with uh, all kinds of rasa you know, when his baby form, he cannot uh, have a conjugal rasa. With, of course, he was attracting even that age. Conjugal rasa was within the gopis. But uh, they can't really relate with that. Uh, he has to become a youth to really relate with the uh, uh, gopis to perform conjugal rasa. So, Rupa Goswami says, his youth is a reservoir of all pleasure. And uh, that's the time when the higher varieties of devotional service are acceptable. At the age, Krishna, Krishna is full with uh, transcendental qualities and is engaged in transcendental pastimes. Therefore, uh, devotees have accepted the beginning of his youth as the most attractive feature in ecstatic love. We see that uh, Arjuna also says, this is the most attractive form, Krishna. There is nothing better than this. No, no form can beat it. No comparison. Uh, at this stage, Krishna is described as follows. The force of Krishna's youth was combined with his beautiful smile, uh, which defeated even the beauty of a full moon. He was always nicely dressed, in beauty surpassing even the cupid, attracting the minds of gopis, who were thereby always feeling pleasure. Uh, Krishna's beauty plays a very crucial role in attracting his devotees. Of course, Krishna is renounced, you know, completely renounced, he is uh, absolutely powerful, he is unlimitedly powerful and uh, he is unlimitedly opulent. Uh, but we see Krishna's beauty plays a, a prominent role in all these six opulences. Of course Krishna is totally uh, unlimitedly powerful but gopis don't care for it. <laughs> you know they don't care for it, it doesn't matter to them. You know, he can breathe a billion universe or inhale a brilliant universe. It doesn't, the gopi, it doesn't matter to the gopis. It's okay. Perfect. But it's not a, it, what, what to do with it. But Krishna's beauty, gopis become mad. It makes uh, gopis mad. Uh, it made even the kings mad. Usually the Kshatriyas are attracted by, you know, uh, valor, you know, power, uh, the uh, spirit of fighting. Uh, they are really attracted, they have that uh, kind of tendency. If they, if they have a fighting spirit, chivalry nature. Even then they are like satisfied. You know, we are, we are ready to give up the Shaktiriya spirit. <laughs> we surrender to Krishna. <laughs> because it surpasses all the qualities of um, his own. Uh, this opulence, renunciation, his power, uh, everything. Is a, uh, the beauty plays a prominent role in attracting uh, devotees of Krishna. And further in uh, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, uh, Srila Rupa Goswami says that once uh, Lord Shiva was watching uh, Rasa, Rasa Leela, uh, Shiva was watching Rasa Leela, uh, Radha and Krishna and all the gopis. While watching the Rasa dance, uh, you know, Lord Shiva beheld the beauty face of Krishna. When he, when he saw Krishna, he immediately began to dance. Um, you know, all, all right. he's a very good dancer. When he dances, the universe is shake. Uh, 
pralaya and beaten up his small drum he has a small drum uh, and he started becoming ecstasy and lord shiva was dancing in ecstasy his eldest son you know ganesh you know with his uh, trunk with the elephant head <laughs> he also joined uh, uh, lord shiva and started dancing hari bol hari bol <laughs> they started dancing in uh, uh, kailash because uh, krishna it even agitated Krish lord shiva who was in samadhi always in uh, krishna's uh, meditation that he was uh, overwhelmed by krishna's beauty beautiful face that he he got he got totally mad uh, and uh, lord ganesh also became mad he started jumping up and down like a madman um in also in mati lila uh, chaitanya charitamrit it uh, speaks about the opulences of sweetness of lord krishna it says that um, krishna ra yatha ke kele sarvottam nar lila narava putahaya swarupa gopa vesha venukara nava kishora natavara nar lila haya nurupa lord krishna uh, has many pastimes <coughs> but among all those pastimes the human form of pastimes human being are the best just like a human natavara um it says um naralila nara means a human alila means pastimes uh, it says sarvottama naralila krishnera yathara khele among all the pastimes of krishna krishna performs his fashion just like a human hmm? he runs behind a woman and uh, he breaks apart uh, and it is said even you know he urinates on the floor and the gopis will come with a stick to chastise krishna and he he does all kinds of uh, nasty things and uh, no one will believe that uh, <laughs> is he god <laughs> exactly like a human uh, he performs his activities and it is said in chaitan charitam says those are the best just like a human he performs just like a human they are the best krishna's pastimes they are the best just like a human and he speaks lie and uh, he steals thing he speaks lie and he kills people you know all kinds of uh, activities and um, in this form he is a coward boy he, he wears a dhoti and a chadar and a pangadi and sometimes he speaks a rude language and uh, sometimes he gives a slang to maybe <laughs> you know the brajwasis the the way the very language is a little uh, informal uh, they they don't have up shabda in uh, praja language you no know, they don't have very great respect for it. it's it's very informal language uh, which means uh, uh, informal use understand right they don't have any formalities mm -hmm. nothing formal it's very informal language and uh, it says navakishor natavara gopavesh venukara he wear, he performs the coward boy and he curses a cow and a calf and uh, he is a newly he accepts just a young youth and just like a thug he chases around women um, and it says that they are the best chetan charitamrit says and he he carries a flute you know i remember when i when we were children i mean youth um we used to go in the farm and steal stuff and get beaten up by the <laughs> farmers <laughs> and of course our father mother has to come to rescue us because <laughs> uh, there is a huge farm behind our area you know a lot of mangoes palms i don't see the palm trees here but we have beautiful palms palm trees the beautiful uh, palm fruits black this big you know and uh, it's when it ripened it's very tasteful etc so uh, you know if you, if you are in a village boy and uh, if you are born in a village you have some taste for it and and steal all the groundnuts in the field steal all the goa fruit it's a fun it's uh, totally everywhere uh, relishable stuff you know anywhere you see the sugar cane is there the goa fruits are there the coconut trees is unbelievably uh, opulent for eating so krishna also you know exactly like a human he meditated and uh, all this is just suitable for his pastimes also human being all these activities so. and uh, krishna era madhura roopa and further chaitanya charitamrita talks krishna era madhura roopa suno sanatan 
Chaitanya, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tells Sanatana Goswami, listen Sanatan, Krishna era Madhuru Rupa, about Krishna's sweet Rupa. Ye Rupere Ekakane Dubaya Sabe Tribhuvane, which means just this one form of Krishna, this tri Tribhanga Rupa, Dubaya Sabha Tribhuvane, means Dubaya means drowned everybody in this material world. Tribhuvane means lower planets, the middle and the higher planets. Tribhuvane. Uh, Sabha Tribhuvane. Uh, Sarva Prani Kare Akarshan. Sarva Prani means all living entities. It doesn't matter you are a human, uh, you are aquatic or uh, you are whatever. It attracts animals, it attracts insects, it attracts even birds. It attracts uh, every form, every kinds of living entities. Uh, it's something uh, amazing, isn't it? You know, who can attract uh, a tiger towards you? And he, the tiger comes and loves. Maybe sometimes we see in the video. But not all the living entities. You know, the snakes are attracted, the monkeys are attracted, the parrots are attracted. All the 84 uh, species of life are attracted towards Krishna. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu glorifies to say, uh, Sanatan, E Tribhuvane Dubaya Tribhuvane Sarva Prani Akarshane. All the living entities are attracted towards this one form. And uh, just try to understand it. Huh? Even a fractional understanding of Krishna's beauty can merge all the three worlds. Three worlds. Rupa deki apanare Krishna rahaila chamatkar asvadita mana uta karna susubhagya yana rama sondariyadi gunagrama e rupa nityatara dama. Further, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, this wonderful form of Krishna in his personal future is so great that it attracts even Krishna. This is something even uh, unbelievable. Even Krishna himself gets attracted towards Krishna. <laughs> it sounds contradictory. Sometimes uh, we, it happens. Uh, we always look at our form in the mirror. We check our beauty, <laughs> you know, the, the hairstyle and the cheek and the teeth and the nose everything we shape you know, we, we have experience within our self that every two seconds we go and check it in our mirror you know whether I'm looking beautiful <laughs> is everything okay and Krishna says uh, in Chaitanya Charitam says, Krishna he personally got attracted to his own form that he got bewildered to taste his own association indeed Krishna became very eager to taste it and uh, the total beauty, knowledge, wealth, strength, fame and renunciation are the six uplands of Krishna. He is eternally situated in his uplands. Krishna becomes uh, attracted to his own form. Bhushanera Bhushananga Tahan Lalita Tribanga Tahara Upara Buradhanu Nartana It says that uh, ornaments caresses the body of Krishna. He has ornaments. But the transcendental body of Krishna is so beautiful that uh, the ornaments become beautiful because of his body. Bhushanera Bhushanera Anga. Uh, we usually uh, the body becomes beautiful. A little bit, you know, you put the bracelets, the wristwatch, a little bit chain on your neck, uh, etc, etc, anklets and what we call the rings. It all beautifies, enhances, enhances the beauty of the body. But uh, Krishna's body is uh, so beautiful that the ornaments become enhanced. Mm, ornaments become enhanced. Bhushanera Bhushana Anga Tahan Lalita Tribanga And further, it says Therache Netaraban Tharadrada Sandhana Binde Radha Gopi Ganamana Further it says, therefore Krishna's uh, body is said to be the ornament of the ornaments. And ornaments get beautiful by Krishna's body. That's why it is called as Bhushanera Bhushananga. He becomes the beautiful for the ornaments. Further it says, enhancing the wonderful beauty of Krishna in his three curved style of standing. Above all these features, Krishna's eyes dance and move obliquely, acting like arrows to pierce the mind of Srimati Radharani and the gopis. And they become agitated by looking at Krishna's beautiful form. 
ब्रह्मांडपौरी प्रव्योमाना ताहान्य स्वरूपगान तन्साबर बले हरे मान पतिव्रता सिरोमणि यान्रे काहे वेदवानी आकर्षीय सैलक्ष्मी घना it says that above all the universe, Parovyama, which means the spiritual sky. And uh, there, um, Thai Sabar, all of them, by force, Haramana, Krishna's beauty, by force attract them. Pativrata, of those who are the chaste, even the, the chaste women, you know, who are very dedicated to their husband, uh, Siromani, the topmost. The topmost among the chaste women is Mahalakshmi, who is always under the feet of uh, Narayana, and he is, she never leaves Narayana. Even the topmost uh, women of this world, she gets attracted towards uh, uh, Krishna's Pativrata Siromani Yandre Kaha Vedavani. It says uh, even she becomes attracted by the wonderful beauty of Krishna uh, described in the, ves in the Vedas. Uh, the, the, beauty, the topmost chaste ladies described in the Vedas, they all get attracted towards Krishna. It, uh, it also, uh, you know, makes clear that he is the only Purusha. Mm -hmm. by, he, by this one act, Krishna also confirms to everybody that I am the only enjoyer. Uh, 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 I am the only enjoyer, etc. And we also hear from, uh, uh, every time we hear from Srila Rupa Goswami, he says that if you want to enjoy the material life, don't go to Yamuna. <laughs> and if you go to Yamuna, and don't go to Pamsivat, for sure. <laughs> because there is a blue boy standing under the Pamsivat tree, Kadamba tree. He is blue, dark blue, just like a cloud. And uh, he is wearing a yellow garment uh, with a sash on it, and he is playing a flute. Um, if you see him, you are finished, 100%. You are totally finished. Uh, once you see him, you cannot enjoy anything. The li material life is over. Your senses are finished. Your mind is finished. There is no question of false ego. It attracts even Mahavishnu. It attracts everybody in this material world, and uh, and uh, it says, you know, Prabhupada uh, also says it. Vrindavanam Parityaja Nayaka Padam Gachati. Krishna never leaves Vrindavan, he is always here. And Prabhupada said, he doesn't even take one step out of Vrindavan, he is just present here, and, um, and he is just there. <laughs> And uh, that's why Rupa Goswami says, if you want to enjoy, my dear friend, and uh, you forget, we can't remember Krishna. Because this is the supermost, top, attractive stuff, uh, attractive feature, uh, Krishna. That, you know, we, we, we have heard uh, some uh, stories in Vrindavan, that people going mad, you know, sometimes they have a, uh, unlimited, mer some, sometimes a glimpse of mercy of Krishna. Um, if he shows, his, if he reveals his form, it's very easy. You, you are, uh, you know, the struggle for chanting japa, and uh, the struggle for getting up for Mangalarati, you know, controlling the senses and the mind, and uh, so many, you know, anarthas within us. It is very easy that uh, he can just in this time he can just. Uh, take care of you and totally put you in madness. Totally you can uh, come to the level of higher per platform of devotional service. Uh, and I have heard uh, like uh, stories of the Babas, you know, in this Braja area, that some people, uh, they come to Vrindavan and they go crazy. Hmm? That uh, they, they come with the great opulence actually. They were uh, born rich people and they are very pious but somehow or other but when he hit Vrindavan uh, we see that um, it's not like really in the Shastra but he heard from some different different sources that uh, Krishna Krishna sometimes is visible visible to his devotees that when once you are finished it's, it's, it is a proof in Srimad Bhagavatam first canto 
where Narad Muni in his previous life, he sees Krishna. And we see that immediately he becomes desperate, that he can't live without it, we, he can't live without it, isn't it? And uh, he just, uh, Krishna shows only the Vishnu form that he just manifests before, Krish before uh, that boy, uh, the maid servants, the maid servants uh, lady, right, uh, his son. And uh, he, Krishna shows his form just for a, he gives a glimpse and immediately he goes crazy. He, he becomes desperate. He becomes desperate for it. And, uh, you know, Prabhupada says that this is a qualification that one has to become uh, desperate. Desperateness to uh, see that form, to achieve Krishna, to be in uh, Krishna's association. Uh, and Krishna, uh, Vishnu, he himself says, just to increase your intensity, just to increase your uh, desperateness for my form, uh, I will not show you once again. He showed him only once and then he disappeared. And the little boy became desperate. And he, he, went, he went crazy, he just forgot everything, he gave up everything, he was roaming here and there in, you know, like a madman. He was, he was waiting for the day to get back to uh, um, Krishna. And Prabhupada says that this is the qualification, that once you become desperate, uh, then that's, that's, that, that's the time you have uh, initi you know, like started, you have started real devotion. Uh, if there is no desperateness, then it is uh, uh, difficult. <laughs> you know, you are looking something. You are not looking for something cheap. It is something unbelievably uh, extraordinary. Krishna's form, but uh, by mercy, uh, Krishna becomes merciful. And he can reveal it to the devotees, and uh, that is that we read in the, you know, that story. Balisimo. That is extremely beautiful that uh, you become a crazy person and uh, when you become a crazy person uh, your life has become perfect um, that uh, you can't do anything the senses becomes inert uh, the sin the mind cannot think of anything else the senses cannot perform any activity apart from uh, you know devotional life and uh, there is no question of any other anathas there is no point um, so, from these descriptions, we can see that something uh, uh, for sure Krishna's form is extremely beautiful and uh, it can attract anybody. So, we all pray to Krishna <laughs> that may one day it becomes uh, visible to us the very form of Krishna where Arjuna was uh, seeing, you know, with his two eyes. Arjuna got bewildered. Wow! This is bellissimo, <laughs> extremely beautiful, that uh, Vishnu becomes uh, bewildered, uh, Radharani becomes bewildered, and uh, Mahalakshmi, he left uh, Mahavishnu, <laughs> and he went to see that uh, Trimanga Shyama Lalitam, and Lord Shiva, he started jumping up and down, and uh, we are all very fortunate, we are just in this land of Vrindavan, this is the place where Yamuna was flowing, the gopis' uh, feet being touched, the topmost devotees of, uh, the topmost lovers of Krishna. For sure, there is a very good hope for all of us that to achieve the same form of Krishna. Once you see that, your life is successful. So, we pray to Krishna that may he become merciful to us. <laughs> Jai Sri Krishna. Jai Sri Amangatri Balalitam Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavad Gita ki jai. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Question. Thanks. In this material world. Yes, sir. And especially in our spawn. <laughs> If I become crazy, they will throw me out. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is that we can understand that we can become crazy person? Prabhupada said once that uh, I uh, want all of my disciples to become mad. Prabhupada said that will be the success of this movement. 
and further Prabhupada said that uh, uh, you do so many things you do book distribution uh, you do uh, deity worship you do fundraising you clean the temple you cook everything and so many things but ult uh, ultimately one has to become mad after Krishna he, he emphasizes actually and uh, well it is said that Prabhupada himself is a Mahabhagavat but he didn't show much symptoms of uh, I mean like uh, like rolling on the ground laughing like a madman but we do have a, um, uh, we do understand that uh, there are two very important qualities for a very advanced devotee and I think I, I heard it in Vaishishika Prabhu's lecture that uh, the one important quality is that he is very steady person you and he's a uh, he's a steady in his service you we see that uh, you know even after 40 years he still is chanting uh, still he comes for the morning program uh, still he maintains a good behavior and uh, still he um, uh, act as an example for others and uh, though we, we don't see Shama, the dark blue moon and uh, though we see we don't see the ecstatic symptoms but some of the symptoms are visible not necessary not necessary that uh, he has to show all the symptoms like you know in Bhakti Rasamrath in the but some of the symptoms are very visible he's very stable and he still uh, still he we see that uh, act as a Madhi Madhi Kari we, we do see all the Acharyas behaving like that Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Srila Bhakti Srila Prabhupada and even uh, all the six Goswamis who are none other than the close associates of Lord Chaitanya and close associates of Lord Krishna not necessarily they have to show the symptoms but and at the same time we do see the intensity of the devotion uh, you know Lagunadas Goswami when he actually was in the association of Lord Chaitanya when Lord Chaitanya left him I mean he went back to he, when he went back to the spiritual world he stopped reading brains and he was in the association of uh, um, um, uh, Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami and when they left their body he stopped eating fruits he was just um, eating only a little a little charge hmm? and we, we do see that the, some of the side effects of those that they are not interested in anything they are mad for Krishna you know who will who will offer 2000 obeisances to devotees <laughs> and 1000 obeisances to Krishna and chant 64 rounds and once in three days you drink a little charge who will do that um, but we, we, we do see the symptoms but in a very different way but uh, it is not exactly the same and he proposed it is not necessary that Mahabhagavad the devotee he shows all the symptoms and at the same time you see he never forgets Krishna he's always talking about Krishna and Prabhupada indeed he said that this movement is for crazy people uh, when you join this movement you become crazy and you become a madman for Krishna you give up everything and you whole day you chant Krishna's name <laughs> it is, isn't it madness <laughs> you know the whole world is enjoying every, every day it's a new new varieties of enjoyment and somebody comes to Vrindavan, he hit the ground here and then he's done. He doesn't, he doesn't even want to go back. People, they even throw the passport. Uh, and they throw the passport and then when the police catch him, they say, no problem. <laughs> we will be in the jail in Madra, we'll still chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> so, uh, exactly not those kind of madness, but we do see people are mad after Krishna. They knew. Uh, for sure Krishna within within the devotee he inspires them I am existing I am waiting for you you know Vishnu it's not that uh, out of some sentiment they do understand the signs of Krishna and uh, uh, Krishna in the heart of a devotee seeing his renunciation seeing his devotion he you know he instructs him that you know what can be better than that so uh, there is a uh, and also we see madness also means preaching everywhere preaching Krishna's name is also madness you go outside the world and uh, you preach about Krishna day and night 
and also any any problem comes you still tolerate to preach about krishna this is also a symptom of a bhava a pre- pre- very advanced devotee if you start keep on doing krishna's chanting krishna's name preaching krishna's holy name this is also madness and madness doesn't mean rolling on the ground you preach about krishna non stop and like so if you see some of the devotees are like 40 years they still keep on preaching uh, and uh, uh, day and night they just keep tra- keep on traveling they must have traveled around the world like a thousand uh, like hundreds of times you know every three th- every third day is in a different spot and he's meeting a different people he is initiating him and he's talking about krishna and uh, you know chastising them for not chanting the rounds you know encouraging them to become uh, more and more perform more and more this is also madness so but proper proper said that uh, the main essence of uh, all these things is to become mad after krishna in the very same form the blue is form with the yellow dhoti and with the flute in his hand just in vrindavan <coughs> thank you thank you thank you hari krishna shrimad bhagavad gita ki jai yeah. hari krishna